Welcome to Nursing School Explain and this video about omeprazole, which is one of the most commonly prescribed medications in the United States. So omeprazole is a, fits into a class of medications called proton pump inhibitors or also PPIs for short, and they also act as an anti-ulcer agent. So um, indications therefore are for GERD, so gastroesophageal reflux disease, as well as duodenal ulcers, people, patients with GI bleeds, as well as many times we see it in patients who are hospitalized, even if none of these apply. And the reason for that is that because hospitalization is stressful, the body is going through some sort of a disease process that requires the patient to stay there. It has psychological implications. And whenever we are stressed, we produce more stomach acid. So these PPIs just help to dampen the stomach acids and therefore prevent any of these bad things from happening. And the way that omeprazole works, it binds to the gastric parietal cells and prevents the transport of hydrogen ion into the gastric lumen. Keep in mind that hydrogen ion is an acid, so we want to prevent these ulcers or these irritated um, reflux uh, cells in the esophagus to be protected from the additional acid that can then cause more pain or more ulcer or breakdown of that stomach lining. Common side effects is CDAD, which is C. diff associated diarrhea. C. difficile, that's a common um, associated diarrhea and we'll go a little bit into that. It also can cause abdominal pain. So for nursing considerations, we want to check the patient's bowel function because we know the medication affects their GI system. We want to check for black, black or tarry and red stool. So that usually means signs and symptoms of GI bleeding. And then we want to assess for green slimy stools, which can be uh, many times associated with that C. difficile bacteria that um, is many times caused from the use of antibiotics and can be very painful. And um, yeah, we definitely need to check into that. Omeprazole needs to be taken before meals, preferably about one hour, so that it has time to work on those gastric parietal cells. We don't want to chew or crush the medication. And also, we want to advise our patient to avoid any gastric irritant um, medications and foods that might be making their, their underlying physiology worse. So we want to avoid alcohol, NSAIDs, as well as aspirin and gastric irritant foods, which usually contain some sort of acid themselves, such as vinegar and salads or lemon juice, any or grapefruit, oranges, those kind of things, spicy foods that make the stomach irritated and produce more acid. Thank you so much for watching this video on omeprazole. Check out the other videos in this playlist and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.